hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel so for today's video sorry we have a mystery box Woo! a subscriber all the way from Canada sent me this ginormous mystery box so you guys want to see what I got in here what my thoughts are well then definitely keep on watching So first off, I just want to thank Tracy so much for sending me this big ginormous box. You have no idea how surprised I was when I walked up to my PO box and I was like, what is this? Then to try to carry it to my car, I was like, oh my God, did she put weights in here? This bad boy is heavy, but I'm so excited to see what's in here. I love opening up mystery boxes from you guys. You guys don't ever have to send me anything. That's always my job to do for you, but please, please know how truly, truly grateful I am whenever you guys do. I think mystery boxes are so much fun. I love opening them and I'm sorry if the date behind me is wrong by the time you guys see this video. I don't know when this video is coming out. I actually am pre-filming it. I have so much content to film. So this will be coming out sometime very, very soon but that date might be wrong. And if it is, I'm so, so sorry. Yeah, I'm just excited to dive in here. So once again, Tracy, thank you so much. And now it's time to dig into this mystery box. All right, so I do wanna let everybody know that Tracy did write me a really beautiful letter and she wanted me to actually share it with you guys to try to bring about some awareness to what's going on in her life. So I'm gonna go ahead and read this to you guys. I know it's kind of personal, but Tracy told me to share with you guys. So maybe you can help somebody else out there. But she says, hi, my name is Tracy LaCroix. <laughs> Try to pronounce that French name. I've been a fan of yours for a few years now and you are one of my favorites and I look forward to your videos. I love your honesty, humor, opinions, and tips. You make your viewers feel like friends and that means so much. So as appreciation for your wonderful, for your wonderfulness, I have created this box for you. Surprisingly, there's no makeup and a lot of goodies from Canada which I, that makes me so excited I don't guys I have so much makeup you guys never have to send me makeup but if you guys want to send me food that's a different story <laughs> so let me explain my life in the last few years and how you have affected it I have a chronic neurological pain disorder called trichomorgel neurological or TN I'm really 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 sorry if I butchered that I'm not really good at reading medical names I'm so sorry but she has TN and what it does is it extends excruciating pain to my face which feels like being electrocuted on top of a constant pain which gets worse throughout the day it feels like hot daggers are stabbing my cheek weather humidity biometric pressure are all triggers for me I can't take more than a light breeze to my face so there I'm stuck in the house all day after day COVID has nothing on me I've been self-isolated for years I've had to go I've had to let go of my job at the pharmacy I love to work at due to my unreliability i didn't feel like it was fair to my co-workers and this is when i found out your this is and this is when i found your channel when i felt down and lonely i can always watch one of your videos and feel better although my friends and family are always there i know their personality and humor all too well you are like a breath of fresh air and even though i know the pain is getting worse and inevitably nothing that can be done about it you can always make me smile and laugh i have my boyfriend watching your post with me although he still refuses to dance with me to your theme song i'll dance with you so that is kind of my story so far and, and how you are part of it you affected others in such a positive way so until i find something to do with myself i find myself looking forward to seeing you again weird i know but i'm canadian sorry a eh? so sweet Anyways, I hope you enjoy the goodies sent your way. Feel free to share my story with others. The more people are aware of TN, the better. I look forward to many, many more videos full of wonderful content from you. Sincerely, Tracy. P.S. Tell the pups and Corey I said hi, and, they, and she enjoys watching our For the Life channel. Tracy, you have no idea how much your story had touched me and how, like, how it brought such major tears to my eyes when I read it when I first got the box. I seriously cannot thank you enough. I feel like I'm never deserving of your kind words. I feel like I don't do anything but sit here and just talk to you guys and just be myself um it may sound crazy but like i i really do view you guys as my friends i view you guys as like my diary my therapist i tell you guys everything and i don't know i just feel i feel like such a communion and a beautiful community with you guys and it just it means so much to me that like a 20 minute video can bring such a smile to your face and i cannot stress how truly amazing that is for me and how that makes me feel and you just have no idea how truly beautiful you are and i am just so so sorry that you are going through this and if there's something that i can do please please let me know because 
I want to help in any way that I can. Um, you shouldn't be sending me this box. I should be sending it to you. So Tracy, I love you. Thank you so much. And I'm excited to see what we have in here. First thing I see is um, open last. So Tracy, we will open last. So cute. She put a lot of little cuties in here. Oh my God, those are so cute. These are perfect in time for my Halloween. Oh my God, I love it. All right, so the first thing I see is what? Zesty cheese Doritos? This is a thing. Y'all got zesty cheese Doritos? And this is the craziest thing, y'all. There's like different languages on here. That is not a thing that happens here. Normally this is where the price point goes. Um, This is so cool. All right. Let's give this a try. Definitely tastes like our regular Doritos, but has like a tiny hint of like something like a little cheesier. That's good. Oh yeah, Red Bull. Uh, they're out of watermelon because there's summer edition, so they don't have any more. <laughs> Bill. Next we have. Ooh, this is Ruffles all dressed assassinins. Assassinins, all dressed, assassinins, all dressed. This is exciting. God, I am a sucker for chips. That's my favorite pastime. Oh my God. This tastes just like salt and vinegar chips with a hint of dill pickle. My favorite chips, my all time favorite chips in the world are Lay's dill pickle chips. Corey hates it. He smells like I'm, he says that it smells like I'm eating stinky V right next to him. So I sit closer. I'm like, oh yeah, <sighs> enjoy it. <laughs> I'm gonna be such a nice wife. I'm gonna be so nice. Mmm, <laughs> that's delicious. Corey would not like that. More for me. <gasps> oh my God, it's here. The ketchup flavored chips. I know this is like such a huge staple in like up north um our ketchup flavored chips now this is even says it's made in canada this is like legit okay so when my best friend passed away of cancer um almost four years ago i actually went to michigan to see her before she passed and we went to detroit michigan and i had no idea that where we were located we were literally like an hour outside the border to Canada. If I had known, I would have like brought my passport. Although I don't know if I needed my passport. I don't know. I would have crossed the border just to say I crossed the border and said, oh my God, I've been to different countries. Because the only other countries I've ever been to are like the Bahamas, Jamaica, Grand Cayman, Mexico, um, Haiti. Like I've been in those places, but never like been like Northern like that. The highest like Northern place I've ever been is Maine. Um, I really do love Maine. But I've always wanted to go to Canada, only oh, especially since over in Epcot, they have a whole Canadian pavilion. And there's like this show that they put on where they show you like all the different aspects of Canada, like from all the different hot spots, and like all the cool things that you can do, the different types of the weather. And I'll tell you what, they freaking sell you on Canada. I've been like, I told Corey, I was like, if everything keeps happening the way it does in Canada, like with the United States, I'm not just moved to Canada because that show over at Epcot sold me on it and I've always just wanted to go and it's a beautiful, beautiful area and yeah. And now they have ketchup chips, so. Oh, we are diving into this. Oh my God, it's purple. Holy shit. Oh my God. This is a ketchup chip. Oh my God. <laughs> This is straight up eating ketchup. Why do y'all have these chips? Are you, do, is there like a huge fascination with ketchup up there? Like, oh my God. Straight up, that's just eating fucking ketchup. Wow. Wow, okay, I gotta get Corey to come in here. And it's purple, that's insane. Babe, come here. Ketchup. You gotta try it. You, gotta, you just gotta do it. First off, it's purple. Why is it purple? Is it purple or is it red? 
I like maroon. It's purple. Try it. I know he doesn't like condiments whatsoever. Tastes just like <laughs> Yeah, right? Right? Okay, okay, then try this. This is the all dress assassinans. I don't I don't I don't yeah, think you'll like this one. That. I don't think you'll like that one. You what? You like that one? I don't dislike it. Please tell my audience what you think my dill pickle chips smell like. Oh, it smells like feet. <laughs> I literally said it's that. It's vinegar. It's like vinegar and dill powder. I said it's that. Gross. I said that you think that my chips smell like stinky feet, and then I purposely go, <sighs> and I said, wait, 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 one more. There is zesty cheese Doritos. Zesty cheese. Do these have red corny on them? Oh, I don't know. You didn't check. I'm sure they do. I don't know. Oh, there's something else. What? There's ketchup Doritos. Try those. Let me know what you think. It just says color. It doesn't say what the colors are. Mm. Only the United States still does 40. Yeah, even Cool Ranch has red 40. Try these. They're so weird. That's real chip so weird. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I like that one. I don't I didn't really like the Dorito ketchup chips. What's with the obsession of ketchup? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Do we as Americans I mean, I have to ask for like as Americans, do we have weird flavor chips? If we do let me know. I'll send you some. Oh, there's a little card. There's a little card that says, hello. Hello, I'm a Tonka 2 Finnish gnome elf. I help guard and protect you in your home. I have yet to be named. My hair will look better as it unravels. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. So like, gnomes kind of freak me out because in the game, The Sims game, um, every, um, Halloween, they, like, gnomes appear in your game, and if you don't play with the gnomes or, like, feed the gnomes, they terrorize your, your home and destroy stuff, so, like, I'm scared of gnomes, <laughs> and there's, like, a whole episode on South Park and in the South Park game about gnomes, so they kind of scare me, <laughs> not gonna lie, but this is, like, a Finnish holiday, this is cool, though, this reminds me of, um, Dwight Schrute, Dwight Schrute. Doesn't he speak Finnish? German. Mm, he's German. It's cool though. I really do like it. Just, you know, scared me a little bit. <laughs> it's cool. Don't, that's not a toy. All right, next we got some coffee right here. I do love coffee, Tim, Tim Hortons. Hortons. But they have that up north. I definitely have tried, um, oh my God, Roasting Canada, but it's a Canada edition. I have definitely tried Tim Hortons up north. In, um, Michigan. in Michigan, we tried their donuts. They were horrible. I, that's what I remember. <laughs> no, we didn't try. Uh, well, yeah, we had their donuts, but we had their hot apple cider. Yeah. And it was uh, interesting. Oh, she added some Halloween ones, too. These are cute. That's cute. Or is that no, just a um, you know what? Is it? Yo, that's actually really cute. And on the inside, though, she put like. Oh. Sorry. On the inside though, she put like, oh. Sorry. On the inside, she did put like little ghost lights. Ghost lights? Yeah. Oh, like a little like Christmas light. That is so thing. cute. That's a really cool concept. Did you, I hope you made this yourself. I love homemade items. I think they're so freaking cute. We got the biscuits. We got the biscuits. These are El Biscuit Decante. I can speak French. Decante. No, decadent. That's what I said. Decante is that's, what you that's said. That's what I said. Here's a cookie for you. A decadent cookie? Or a decante. I said you, I said you, that again. That's delicious. That's delicious. I don't know what this is. 
Sipadero Sip Pure. Oh my God. This is pure maple syrup. Pure maple syrup. In a jar. And a, and a can. It's not a jar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen to you call me stupid. <laughs> People who are stupid together stay together. <laughs> um, that's actually really cool. Sorry, I watched him say ASMR. Nope, didn't do it. Not empty. That's actually really, really cool. I really want to try the pure maple syrup. This is from Quebec. Quebec. We have the refrigerate after opening, so that's exciting. Oh my god, that's so cool. Because the maple syrup that we have is the the lady syrup. What's it called? Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima. <laughs> lady syrup. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. They call these Smarties candy rolls. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. That's funny you say that, because look down there. Smarties. Wait, what? What? Wait, you guys call these, you guys call these Smarties? These are Smarties. Mm, nope. Okay, open this one up, I'll open this, this one up. It's the exact same thing. Aren't these sweet tarts, not Smarties? No, those are smart. These are sweet tarts. No, no, they're not. Okay. No, they're not. I'm gonna look, it up. look that up. Candy coated chocolate, and it's peanut free. Yep, Smarties. <gasps> I was right. Sweet tarts are the ones that look almost like um, like spree. That you were right. Thank you. You gonna try Smarty? <laughs> Candy coated milk chocolate. It's so weird that they call this a smarty. And these candy rockets. Candy what? Candy rockets. That's what Candy roll rockets, yeah. All right, next, there is Kraft. I think this is peanut butter. Tastes like normal peanut butter, <laughs> which is actually perfect because we just ran out of our peanut butter because I like to take peanut butter and take frozen carrots and chop them up and give them to the dog as treats. They freaking love it. Oh, that's so cute. It's a little mousse pencil. Oh my God, that is so cute. And it says Canada, I love that. Oh my God, <laughs> that's so cute. It's going right on my desk. Next, there is Nestle Coffee Crisp. On Guter Lager Delish X. Made in a peanut-free facility. Makes a nice light snack. Coffee crisp. You want to try one? You think it's a coffee cookie? You said coffee crisp. Here you go. Sorry. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Okay. Children. Children, these coffees are not for you. Oh. My God. It smells like coffee. Delicious. And it tastes like coffee. Oh my god, this is delicious. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I love coffee flavored anything because I'm obsessed with coffee. This is so freaking good. Oh my god, sorry. My dogs are over here coughing and just sneezing. Y'all, stop. What do you think, babe? So good. Holy cow, that's delicious. Next, there is a peanut butter caramel experience from Cadbury. It's called Wonderbur. Wonderbur. Hey babe, try it. A wonder, Wonderbur. Oh, this one for you too, it's another one. This is called a Care Milk. You can unlock the secret and win $100,000. What what would happen if I won hundred thousand dollars? Would this count? Look for a pin code inside and enter it here. Oh my God, Tracy! If I won a hundred thousand dollars from this, I'd split and give you money because you bought the winning ticket. Oh my God, that is like a shock. Butterfinger, wow, that's actually really cool. Oh my God, that's so cool! This is a keychain bottle opener. 
from Canada. Super cute, super effective here. I love that. That is so cool going straight on my keychain. I think my favorite thing that I've tried so far is that coffee crisp. That shit is just delicious. And the chips. Wow. Okay. So last but not least is do open this last. Oh, by the way, I put this right here. It said that I should name these. So I decided to name this Thackeray Binks from Focus, Focus, Focus. Focus. So Thackeray Binks. And the little Santa guy is called Mr. Jolly. So Mr. Jolly and Thackeray Binks. <laughs> Thackeray. Thackeray Binks. Okay, so I lied, but not on purpose. I tried to find something Canadian, but not too common and came across this. I haven't tried these since my early 20s. I'm more curious on what you think. It isn't enough to do a full face, but it's rather neutral, but I had to get one. One should smell wonderful. So yeah, keep me posted once you have tried it, please. P.S. Just wanted to thank you for introducing me to Fall Guys. You're right, so addicted and yet so frustrating at the same time. I was never so happy to finish a race, let alone win. You won. I, I still have yet to win a game. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, thank you again for many, many mindless hours of fun. Oh, you are so, so welcome. Oh, okay, this is exciting. Ooh. I've never even heard of this brand. This is called Annabelle Eye and Face and Annabelle Chocolate Bronzer. So it says one of these are supposed to smell good. It does smell like good. It smells like chocolate. You know what this means, right? Chocolate! Oh, could not resist. And then we have a cute little eyeshadow palette. That is so cool. I don't think this brand is sold inside America at all. At least I've never seen it. Um, this is the palette right here. Super neutral, super cute. Definitely a, a like fall palette. You can create a really fall beautiful look with this. So that is really, really cool. Tracy, this box kicked ass. Ah! You were saying? <laughs> Okay, it's fine. Crazy, this box kicked ass. I'm so, so excited to try out these products, like the maple syrup and the coffee. I'm really looking forward to giving this a go. I really, really do enjoy the candies. I think, like I said, my favorite candy is this coffee crisp. Like, this is freaking delicious. The hell, that is so freaking good. I didn't like have my door, not that door just shut, okay. <laughs> Is that he, Koa? He bumped into it and closed it and it scared him. <laughs> okay. I really am like thinking this is the most delicious thing I've ever tasted caught like candy wise. So, oh my God, there's one more thing. I forgot. I forgot there's one more thing. Oh no, I think these are maple candy. I think these are maple candies. I think these are, yeah. Here, babe. Ready? Yeah, maple candy. Ready? Is it in the shape of a leaf? It sure is. I've had these before. Have you really? Yeah. I haven't. I haven't. No, it's, it's stuck on the roof of my tongue. It's stuck on my teeth. It's stuck on the roof of your tongue? <laughs> That's straight up maple syrup. It's delicious. But oh my god. Would this make kids bounce off the wall? It's straight sugar. This is straight sugar. That's really good, but that's straight up sugar. I'm like I said, that just kind of reminds me of this. I've never heard maple syrup make that noise before. I'm excited. I bet you this is gonna taste so good on top of pancakes. So good. <laughs> I love trying goodies from different countries. I think the most unique thing that I've probably tried is these ketchup chips. And they may not be unique to a lot of people, but they're very unique to me because we don't have anything like that here. And they're straight up ketchup, like ketchup. That is just so bizarre, unique to me, so freaking cool. And I love this box so much. Thank you so much for the really cute ornaments. I'm so glad I got to have my little, my little gnomes, Mr. Jolly and Thackeray Binks. I think they're so cute. And Tracy, thank you so much for all the kind words. Thank you for the makeup, for the candy, for the chips. I cannot thank you so, so much. It really brings so much joy to me and you are definitely going to give me and Corey some snack and goodies for the next couple of weeks to enjoy. Hours. So, 
hours. Yeah, let's just be realistic. We're fat asses, so we'll probably just end up consuming all of this. Let's just be realistic. <laughs> but thank you so, so much, Tracy. I cannot, I cannot say how much I really appreciate you, and I really, really hope they can find a cure for your condition, and I'm so sorry that you are in pain, and I hope that could bring just a little bit of joy, and if I can do anything, please let me know. Um, Kai, Ko was trying to make you smile right now, but it's toys that he's mutilating. Like, if you guys haven't seen my Mickey Mouse video clip, what he did to Mickey Mouse, I can insert it right here. Look what Koa did to Mickey. Oh my god. He demolished him. Oh, poor Mickey. Oh my god. Um, I got a lot of comments of people saying that he's expressing how he feels about Disney after they laid off 20,000, 28,000 people. So yeah, guys, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you guys have not already, because I do post every day, every other day, just depending. Also, make sure you guys head on over to my other channel. It's all for life. You guys can see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing fiance, Corey. And as always, I just want to thank you guys for all your love support. I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye. What? Day three offender, what? <laughs> I love your honesty, your humor. I love your honesty. I'm not, I'm not saying, like, I'm not.